such thing as almost winning. There's no such thing as almost uh, being somebody. You either are or you aren't. Life don't give you what you want or what you love. Life gives you what you fight for. That's what winning is to me. Being able to look in the mirror and saying, you fought a good fight. You know, you're different. You're special. I'm proud of you. You weren't perfect, but man, I'm proud of you. You, you know what paying the price is to me? Paying the price is doing whatever you have to do to win. When you win, then you pay the price. Until you win, you ain't paid the price. I've always felt A.O. Williams was a company of destiny. I've never doubted that. And I told those rich people, I said, let me tell you something, folks. A.O. Williams wasn't born to be a good company. We were born to be a great company. But in the darkest of times, there has not been one second of one flicker where I ever doubted the concept. I always knew, by term invested difference was right, I always knew that if some company, if some group of people would go out and champion that cause, they would win. You got to eliminate my from your vocabulary. Worst word in the English language is my. Don't ever say my. Don't ever think my. It's always our. It's always together. It's always team. You got to master the art of pushing up people. A.O. Williams didn't invent by term and invest the difference, but we were the first group of people that took that crusade to the American consumer out there, you know? And yes, that's why we're number one. I believe the first step to winning in business is you've got to do what's right for the consumer out there. I believe your reputation's everything. If you don't do what's right 100% of the time, you might get by for one day, one week, one month, one year, but sooner or later they're going to smell you out. Well, folks, buy term and invest the difference is right. And we've stood the heat like you couldn't believe, and that's why we're number one. They ain't nobody ever designed a test, nor will they design a test that can measure the heart of a man or a woman. The things that the things that are unique to winning in business in America today are not outside artificial things like IQs, college board scores, college degrees, and stuff like that. The key to winning in these United States is what's inside a person. It's your integrity. It's your people abilities. It's your character. I'm talking about your dadgum lie. See, if you want to win, folks, you gotta, you gotta stand up and you gotta say, I'm so sick and tired of being average and ordinary. I'm so sick and tired of telling myself and telling my wife and telling my mama and telling everybody I'm gonna win. I found it this time. Watch my smoke. See, folks, if you're going to win, you're going to change. The only way you can change your life, the only way the future can be better than the past, is you've got to change. Nobody can change for you, okay? Nobody's going to give you something for nothing. It's going to be up to you. You're controlling your future. And if you don't change, just look in the dadgum mirror. Look at the last five to ten years of your life, and the next five or ten years are going to be just like that. Now, ain't that depressing? The key to winning is not talent, it's not looks, it's not degrees. I believe the key to winning is being the best you can possibly be. I believe if you're proud of your abilities and your opportunity, if you look in the mirror and you say, that guy's supposed to win, you know, he's supposed to be somebody, you know, and you go out there and you go fight and you be the best you can be, you're going to have a lot of defeats along the way. It, it, you're going to be in so many situations that look so hopeless. But if you just keep being the best you can be, it's going to look impossible at times. Just keep being the best you can be. All you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. And everybody you work with, everybody you talk to, you've got to pretend there's a flashing sign on their chest. And this sign says, say something good to me. I want to be somebody. Make me feel special. The thing that kept me going was my dream. And uh, when I got there and I was financially independent, now you got to understand, took me 10 years, and through all that 10 years, I mean, paying the price, agonizing, I kept saying, it's worth it, it's worth it. it just If I can just become funny, it's worth it. And so, and then I made it. You know what I found out? That being financially independent, accomplishing your dream, is a thousand times better than you thought it was. And, it, and that was the only thing that kept me going through the tough times, you know. So is it worth it? It's just everything. Being somebody is just everything. 
You know, that's what AOEs is all about. It's not about, if all we do is beat prudential, if all we do is sell records of mutual funds, if all we do is, you know, uh, build corporate history, you know, uh, then I would consider everything in A.O. Williams a disaster, you know. It's about you making some money. It's about you saving some money. It's about you paying off some debts, okay, and being free out there. It's about you becoming financially independent. That's what A.O. Williams is all about.